Friday in Chatham County. Several of the suspects in his murder are former high school classmates of Bailey. Tamara Gibbs joins us now live from Hillsboro with the latest developments tonight. Tamara. Hi, Steve. No word on a possible motive tonight, and that's of little comfort to Joshua Bailey's family. Grief stricken, Joshua Bailey's godmother cries out, They threw him away. By they, she means the nine people charged in connection with the 20 year old shooting death Brian Minton, Jacob Maxwell, Jack Johnson, Brandon Green, Ryan Lee, and Matt Johnson face first degree murder and kidnapping charges. Most of them have known each other for, for some time. In court today, prosecutors hinted at a carefully planned murder among friends with a possible cover up involving the parents of one of the suspects. Individuals involved in this case became concerned about um, word getting out about what had happened at a later date. They moved his body. Shortly after Bailey went missing in late July, search warrants say he was taken to a wooded area in Chapel Hill where six of the defendants, some of them his former classmates, dug a grave and then shot him. But the case takes a bizarre turn with Matt Johnson, the suspect accused of shooting Bailey, telling investigators he was kidnapped a month after the murder by his friends who feared their secret would get out. Inside a Pittsburgh body shop, Johnson alleged he was restrained with duct tape beaten with a pipe and then forced to stare down the barrel of a gun as one of his friends threatened to kill him. But prosecutors allege all nine defendants conspired to bury Bailey's body elsewhere. Joshua Bailey's body was found at about 1030 Friday night. And they had the help of Gregory and Michelle Minton, the parents of Brian Minton, according to the DA. Michelle Minton is accused of purchasing items to help dispose of Bailey's body, one of many allegations in an unusual case. To my knowledge, we've not had a case with this many people charged. And this Saturday in Chapel Hill, uh, Bailey's family will honor him with a memorial service. For now, we're live in Hillsboro. Tamara Gibbs, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.